Hello everybody! You know what it is? Mung bean sprouts. You remember we sprout mung beans. So last video, I showed how to grow mung beans. So we made five pounds mung bean sprouts from one and a half cup of dried mung beans. So this is one pound, one pound of mung bean sprouts. And I'm going to make this delicious Korean side dish called sukju namul. Some of you guys may say, I don't have time to grow. No problem. Mung bean sprouts are available everywhere. You can go to any grocery store, Korean store, Japanese store, Chinese store, even any Western store, you can pick it up easily. But measure one pound. I'm boiling eight cups of water. And then I'm going to blanch this guy to make it really crispy. Sukju namul. So, come on. And then, put this mung bean sprouts. One minute only. One minute though. <laughs> we are going to blanch this. We didn't cover, right? Just open. And then, boil. We are going to rinse this. This is cold water. So shock this with cold water so that the stops are cooking and we can maintain the bean sprouts very crispy. This is a final rinse, take some, some like this, and then just shake it. Like this. We are going to remove skins. Bean skins. This is beautiful. So we are going to season this. Really crispy and nice. For one pound, I will use two cloves large garlic. And two green onions. I will use two teaspoons fish sauce. One, two. Half a teaspoon salt. If you are vegetarian, just skip the fish sauce and use one and a half teaspoon salt. This needs a lot of sesame oil. I will use one tablespoon. Sesame seeds, one teaspoon. Let's mix. Oh my, so good looking. Use a hand. Wow, sesame oil smell. I love that. And garlicky and sesame oil, it's a nutty smell. Many people ask me, Mangchi, you always like sesame oil? Yeah, sesame oil is very precious in Korean cuisine. When you make especially namul, like some of the vegetable side dish, we always use lots of sesame oil. It makes it really tasty. This is like you know acquired taste. Some people may not like it, but if you want to understand the Korean cuisine, Korean cooking, you gotta try to like this one. Sesame oil is very special in Korean culture. Let's taste. I cannot wait until when I say the let me taste it. Because I, that's what I'm doing. I always taste while I'm making. Mm. Delicious. This is our sukju namul we made. Not too salty, not bland, it's awesome. I made duenjang jjigae for lunch. I will show you how do I make the bibimbap with mung bean sprouts so easy. I made white fluffy rice. 
Korean bibimbap is the bibim mix. You can mix this with any vegetable. But my favorite is soybean sprouts. But instead of soybean sprout, this mung bean sprout is also really delicious because it's crispy, crunchy. You need warm rice. And here, how about this? A lot. And doenjang jjigae, because we need to something like some juicy stuff. Hot pepper paste. And sesame oil and mix. Oh my, my mouth worry. I love that smell so good. Let's taste. Mmm. This is heaven, heaven. What are such delicious things in the world? Mm. It can't be better. Wow, I'm going to finish after this saying goodbye to you guys. Today, we made mung bean sprout side dish, sukju namul. It's from homegrown mung bean sprouts. So tasty. So make it and make a bibimbap like this. So enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.